Hi designers, let's create this perspective text animation in After Effects. Let's get started. First, take a new composition and use the text tool to write your text. For this tutorial, the text will be change your perspective. However, each of these words should be on a separate layer. On the first layer, write change. Then duplicate this layer twice to create layers for your in perspective. Use the selection tool to move the second layer to the right and change the text to your. Again, select the third layer, move it to the right, and change the text to perspective. All of these words that need to be animated should be on a separate layer. Select all of these layers and make them 3D. Next, create a new camera layer by going to Layer, New, Camera. We need a very wide lens camera for this effect. While the camera preset offers a minimum focal length of 15 mm, we need something wider. Change the focal length to 6 mm to create a very wide angled camera effect. Select the Your Text layer and press R for rotation. Click on the stopwatch next to Y rotation to set a keyframe. Let's hide the change in perspective layers so they do not distract us. Hide these layers, then select the Your layer, zoom in, and change the Y rotation. Move the time indicator to the 1 second frame. Next, we will change the anchor point. By default, the Y rotation will pivot from the center because the anchor point is in the center. And adjust the X anchor point to somewhere on the right side. Now, when you change the Y rotation, it should pivot differently. Set the position value to minus 53 for a more balanced look. Adjust the position further by pressing Shift plus P again. And move the your text to the center, lowering it slightly as needed. Now select the change text layer and unhide it. We will adjust its position as well. Press P for position and adjust its position to make it closer to the your text. Next, unhide the perspective layer and adjust its position too. Press P for position and change its position accordingly. Now we will add an animation to the position of both the change and perspective layers. Move the timeline indicator to the 1 second frame and click on the stopwatch next to the position for both the perspective and change text layers. Then, move the timeline indicator back to the first frame and adjust the positions of both the change and perspective layers. Fine tune the position of the change text first. Now adjust the perspective text. Once both layers' positions have been adjusted, select all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor. Here, we will adjust the graph to smooth out the animation. Adjust the graph as shown to achieve a smooth easing effect. Come back to the main timeline and let's see the animation. I think at the end, we should also apply an animation to the perspective text layer. So at this point, select the perspective text layer and press R for rotation. We will make this perspective text fall down, and click on the stopwatch next to Z rotation at this point. First, we need to change the anchor point. Select the anchor point tool and move the X anchor point to the left side. Then adjust the Y anchor point to bring it to the top left. Once the anchor point is positioned correctly, 
move a few frames forward and change the Z rotation to make the text fall down. Now that we have changed the Z rotation, we need to adjust the previous frames of the perspective text as well. Move the timeline indicator to the first frame and you'll see that the text has shifted to the right side. Adjust its position by manually moving the perspective text to where it should be. Just change its X position, moving it slightly to the left until it is properly aligned. Once these adjustments are made, preview the animation again to ensure everything flows smoothly. We need the perspective text to remain in its position for a few frames before it falls down. Move the timeline indicator to the frame where the perspective animation had stopped. Next, move three frames forward by pressing the control key and the right arrow key three times. At this point, copy the keyframe by pressing control plus C and paste it by pressing control plus V. Now, preview the animation. We need to make the dropping animation a bit faster. To do this, select the last keyframe and move it closer to the keyframe on the left. After adjusting the timing, select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, and go to the graph editor to adjust the graph for a smoother transition. Finally, come back to the main timeline, preview the animation, and you are done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment on it, and subscribe to Ace Designs.